Hi friends, let's get started with the sounds. Put your left hand up. A says a, ah, a, ah, apple. B says b, b, bunny. C says k, k, cat. D says d, d, dog. E says e, eh, e, eh, elephant. F says f, f, fish. G says g, g, goat. H says h, h, hippo. I says i, i, inchworm. J says j, j, jungle. K says k, k, kangaroo. L says l, l, lion. M says m, m, monkey. N says n, n, nurse. O says ah, ah, octopus. P says p, p, pig. Q says qu, qu, queen. R says er, er, rabbit. S says s, s, snake. T says t, t, tiger. U says a, uh, a, uh, uncle. B says v, v, vulture. W says w, w, walrus. And X says x, x, fox. Repeat these shapes after me or try to beat me. Diamond or rhombus. Oval. Hexagon. Triangle. Square. Heart. Circle. Rectangle. Star. Say the ABCs. Say them with me or after me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Have you been practicing making the X this week? I've got one up here. Would you put your finger in the air and do it with me? Start at the top on the black dot, slant down. Pick your finger up, go back up to the pink dot, slant down. Couldn't find a red marker, so my mark's black and then pink today. Try it again. Slant down, pick your finger up, slant down. One more time. Slant down, pick your finger up, slant down. I hope you'll keep practicing that since we can't practice it at school. And then when we get back, hopefully next week, you'll be able to do it already. All right, let's do some rhyming words before we go to numbers. The word at the top is vest. And vest is like a jacket that doesn't have sleeves. Vest. Which word rhymes with vest? Dice, duck, nest, vest, nest. They rhyme because they both say est at the end. Can you think of another word that rhymes with vest and nest? I'm going to say best. Do your best. The next word is bell. That's the word bell. Which word rhymes with bell? Shell, fence, hat. Bell, shell. They rhyme because they both say L at the end. L. Can you think of another word that rhymes with bell and shell? I'm going to say well. Well is a word we use a lot. We say well. I don't know what you were going to do about that. Well. The last word we're going to do for rhyming is moon. Moon. Spoon. Tent. Book. Which word rhymes with moon? Moon, spoon. They rhyme because they both say oon at the end. And another word that would rhyme with spoon and moon? How about soon? Soon means something's going to happen before too much longer. All right, today we're going to use our calendar to count to 28. So please follow along and count with me as I write the numbers. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And today when I'm making this video, it's February the 17th. It's a day called Wednesday. And today when we got up, we didn't have any new snow, but the ground was covered with snow. Yesterday, it was Tuesday, February the 16th, and then you went to bed last night and woke up today, the 17th, Wednesday. And then tonight when you go to bed and you wake up, it will be tomorrow, February the 18th, and it'll be a day called Thursday. Let's say the numbers in this column, starting at the top and working down. 3, 10, 17, 24. In this column, which number's on top? The three's on top. This is the top row. In this column, which number's on bottom? 24's on bottom. And this is actually the bottom row. Rows go this way, columns go this way. All right. And now let's look at our 10 frame. Right now it's empty. And I'm going to write a number on the board and see if you can figure out what number it is when I write it. Six. And that's also the number we're learning how to write now. When you make the stick six, you start at the top on my black dot. And you go down, touch the ground, go up, around. Let's try it again. Down, touch the bottom, up, around. Six. Try it again. Down, up, over, six. Try practicing the six and the eight, uh, the X today. And remember, if you go to my Teacher Pay Teachers page, you can download practice sheets for free if you have a printer. All right, so when we make the number six, some of you are already five years old, so, so hold up five fingers. That's one whole hand. That's five. And then when you have one more birthday, you will be six. So that's five, and then one more birthday is six. That's how the number six looks, five, six. When I put magnets up on my board, remember it's five and then six. That means I'm going to fill up one whole side and one on the bottom, five and six. All right, so count with me as I do it. One, two, three, four, five. That's one, the top row, and then I'm going to put one on the bottom row. Now, it really doesn't matter how I arrange those magnets. This is the way I like to arrange them because it's easier to read them. But look, if I move these magnets around, that's still six. I didn't take any away or add any more. It's still six, but I think it's harder to read that as six when it's mixed up. So if I put all of the five on the bottom and one on top, that's for me, that's easier to see because they're grouped in a way that's easier to read, five, six. So it means six no matter how you arrange them, the six magnets, but it's easier to count them if you put them all together before you move to the other side. All right, so today before I go I would like to ask you again to practice making the sixes and the X's and then I've been noticing outside my windows I've been seeing all kinds of birds. Have you been looking out the window and noticing any? Today I'd like you to keep your eyes open and see how many different kinds of birds you can see. Today I've seen some red birds, which are called cardinals, the ones that I saw. And I saw one blue jay, which was dark blue with a little bit of white on it. And I saw lots of brown and black birds, more gray maybe. And some of them were small and some of them were large. I don't know the names of all those birds, but I think what I'm going to do is go on Google and look up birds in Indiana and see if I can figure out what some of the names of those birds are. Now you may not be able to do that, but you can at least look out the window and see if you see any birds and try to keep track of how many different kinds of birds you see. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll see you later.